because he has the flu. It's comparable, said, or inferred, that Austin Reed's performance, because he has the flu, is comparable and should be compared to Michael Jordan's 38-point uh, game, his flu game in the finals. Now, see, the very fact that he... So, Austin Reeves, uh, wow, <coughs> it just never stops. Somebody said I mentioned LeBron too much on, this was on Facebook. Somebody said I mentioned LeBron too much or whatever like that when I have 2,000 videos and not even 100 of them is about LeBron. You can't count 100 videos I have out of 2,000 that is about LeBron. But, so you heard it. Shout out to my boy Too Raw. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is why. This is this right here is why people go at. You know what I'm saying? Why you can't just let him have a good game and then let it be that, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why he can't just have a great game and then let it be that? Why does LeBron have to do stuff like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it have to be this, bro? Like, I really don't understand why. So now Austin Reeves is, okay. Now Austin Reeves, 28 points. He had a great game. Austin Reeves can fucking play. But the overrate, the over, bro. You know how some people come in and they're the underdog. And then they, they, they start on a little run. And people start overrating them. Kind of like uh, Isaiah Thomas. Remember, he had that great year, and people start kind of overrating him, and then he kind of disappeared and stuff like that. Okay, Austin Reeves had a great game. He had 28 points. You know what I'm saying? But for this man to say that that is because he had the flu, that's comparable to it. Okay, bro. He made that comparison. Tells you that he wants this to be seen as like a finals ring. That tells you that. This whole tournament where they play nothing but a bunch of losers. The combined record was 55 and 74, just, if, just so y'all know. Of the teams they played, the combined records of all the teams they played was 55 and 74. So you tell me. He wants to compare that to the finals, especially the finals in the 90s. We really had to earn a championship. This is ridiculous. These motherfuckers, I'm sorry, man. These motherfuckers are getting more attention for winning a fucking tournament than Denver did and Jokic for winning the first championship. Of too raw, that's how it go. You know that's how it go, too raw. There's nothing you can do about it. LeBron is going to be the GOAT whether we like it or not. Whether we agree with it or not. They are going to force every NBA fan. I was abducted by the RDA. For 47 years. They're going to force every NBA fan to bow down and kiss the rings. And if you don't, you will get attacked. You will get attacked. They will attack you. They will call you a hater. They will say you a LeBron hater. They will say you a B-I-T-C-H. They will say you a ho- Nigga, I'm trying to stop cursing on, on YouTube. Because now I, I just got an email from um, YouTube that I'm moving next, I'm moving forward in a partner program. So thank you guys for my 4,000 uh, watch hours and my, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate y'all, but yeah, there's nothing you can do. They're going to keep pushing it and keep pushing it until LeBron whenever he retired, bro. The thing is this, it's not them saying that LeBron should be the GOAT, it's LeBron will be the GOAT, whether you, you will bow, and if you don't, we will attack you, and we will write articles about you that you are hating. I'm telling you, it's not no, oh, you get to, ain't nobody, people don't get to choose who the GOAT no more. LeBron has made a statement, I'm the GOAT, and you will, and you will bow, you will bow, or I will criticize, or uh, my fans will criticize you, and they will get try to get your channel shut down, they will flag you, they will write nasty comments all in your section. They will talk about your favorite player, happy he died, or they will talk about your favorite player's sons, or talk about, you know what I'm saying, uh, his dad, or his gambling, and everything. Oh, yeah, I didn't hurt it all from LeBron fans. I didn't hurt it all. 
You know what I'm saying? I didn't hurt at all. It's a disgrace, and we're sick of it. Now, I don't care how many times you remove my comment, ESPN. All of us ain't for this. Uh, the silent majority. Uh, the silent majority. Us. We don't stand for this. We think it's BS. And we don't support it. But let me get on topic and talk about this flu game bullshit. First of all, Michael Jordan really didn't have the flu. I'm going to tell you what I believe it was what, what was going on with MJ that particular night. From what I heard, it was some bad pizza or something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It was a uh, bad pizza or whatever. He had a stomach flu or something like that or stomach virus or something. I mean, it don't really matter. He balled the hell out and had one of the top, I think it's the most, the highest rated uh, NBA Finals game of all time. <laughs> Jordan, by that point, was 34 years old, which isn't old, but, you know, that's relative. If you're a politician, it's a baby. If you're a first-time father, it's kind of still youthish, youthful, I guess, but as an athlete, you're getting up there. Jordan was known for his reservoirs of energy, of being able to do any and everything, drink beers and uh, goddamn, probably go bowling and play golf the next morning all the way to 4 o'clock and then go out there and, and, and have 35, 40 points. He used to be able to do that in his youth. I think they were starting to catch up to him by that point. He wasn't able to do as many super... Mm. So Austin Reed's flu game is comparable to Jordan's. Okay. <laughs> 